Alright, starting off the vlog at 125, and I just got off of school, so I have an entire unboxing of all the ceramics um, pieces that I've created, so let's get into it because I'm really excited. The first one I'm going to unwrap is this one, and it's like kind of fun because like, look at all these things I created, but I have no idea what they are, like as of right now, so. Okay, so... This is like a really terrible angle, and I'm not sure where she used it. I'm also really scared of like not being able to prevent myself from breaking it. <laughs> okay, so this is my one of my favorite ones that I've ever done in the class. It's um, it's a it's a, it's a cup. It's a pretty chill looking cup. Um, I used a lot of glaze. I used um, white glaze inside of it. Um, yeah, I'm like really proud of this one. This one was one of my favorite ones. I like the color scheme that I, <coughs> excuse me, that I used. So I think that that also helped. Because like color schemes in general is something that I struggle with. So like having done something that I think is a good color scheme makes me happy. This next one, I honestly have no idea what it could be because of the shape of it, but we shall find out. The next one, I actually left school before I could um, finish it. Um, it's a teacup. It's supposed to be a snowman. Um, like you have those little mitten, all the little things. Um, and I don't know where the head of it is. That's what's like concerning to me because that's where all the cute stuff goes. I think this little one might be the head. I don't know. I'm hoping that it is because if I lost my teacup's head, that would like, really suck. Like there'd be no like use to it. And it also really sucks is that, um, so I found his head, which is really exciting. Um, but back to what I was saying, uh, it really sucks in the sense that, like, I wasn't able to glaze it, but yet again, like, this is a teacup. Sorry, I really can't show you. This is a snowman, so, you know, can't really show. But if you want, like, a close-up look of the head, because you can't really see it from there. Um, super duper cute. It has a little hat that I took forever for me to figure out how to do it. Um, it's actually supposed to hold, like, actual tea, so... <laughs> excuse me, or water or whatever you would like to drink. So, um, yeah, I'm, I was really proud of this one. It's just it sucked that I couldn't glaze it. So I'm going to have to, like, look up some uh, different glazes that I can use. So I'm going to have to put all the way back here to get the full view. This next one's obvious in shape, so it, it's probably one of my goals. Let's figure it out. So, like, this is where you see, like, my inability to do color schemes properly because it's kind of like this, and I didn't even paint the bottom for whatever reason. Um, and the amount of texture that I used originally made it really hard for me to get into all the little nooks and cranes of it. Um, but, like, this is what I mean when I say, like, I don't really know how to <laughs> color scheme things. Um, it's, uh, it's alright, like, it's also, like, the, um... What is this called? You know, I'm talking about like the platform. It's also a bit wobbly, so it's not my best piece, but whatever. I tried. This one, I'm not sure about at all. Um, well, hopefully, like, right, like, uh, does this so, like, nicely wrapping. So, this piece I purposely did not glaze because it wasn't one of my favorite pieces. Um, it's supposed to be like, have you ever seen, like, those rock slabs that are, like, stocked up together? at the beach and stuff. Um, I added a lot of like texture where I don't think it was like justified and I didn't think like this front part in my opinion is a lot nicer and a lot cleaner than like whatever the frick was going on back here. So I'd never glazed it because I just A didn't have time for it and B um, just, it wasn't one of my top priorities for glazing because I didn't like it too much. This next one once again, ooh, tipping over is one that I don't know what it is. Because it doesn't really seem to have like a shape or anything to it. Oh, wait, hold on, I might know what this is. So, this right here was the first time that I used the Potter's Wheel. Um, 
I didn't bother to actually make it like, you know, have the little grooves and everything in it um, like a normal pot would, but this was my first try at it, so yeah, that was that. This next one, I'm thinking it's something that I know of. <coughs> Excuse me, I keep on coughing. So this one I created with similar intent to the one I just showed you beforehand. Um, except it was just like on a day that she wasn't there, so it's just a series of like swirls, kind of all squared and slipped together. I don't really know. Yeah, I'm just a fun little piece. Not super like artistically um, designed or anything. Okay, these next two I know exactly what they are. Um, this one is the very first thing when I was on home instruction like, for the first time um, that I created at home. Uh, I did do the like inner work design while um, I was like at, at school again, like the these actual like painting. Um, I don't know why I used this purple. It was a super intense purple, but she seemed to like the fact that there were so much like, like things, like so many things going on with it. I don't personally like things that have that, but I was just trying to be a little bit more like, you know, artsy. Because as you guys can see, like I'm not a very artistically talented person, so, um, you know, this stuff doesn't really come super easy to me. And the last piece that's in the box. I'm just going to know what this one is, too. But yeah, this is like one of my favorite ones. I'm getting the general impression that, like, besides the teacup and the actual mug, um, that all of my best work comes from when I do things at home. <laughs> so this one was um, kind of inspired by, like, I don't know, like, it reminded me of, like, ancient Egypt for whatever reason. And I, I painted this part. So I, I first did in terms of the actual clad swirls, and then I did random like sized little pieces. And if you know how to create one of these, you'll know what I'm talking about. But the point is, is in the center, I painted it kind of this like, it looks yellow, but it's kind of orangish yellow. Um, and on the, you know, this part, I painted it like this like very marbly-ish color. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite pieces. So out of like, these are all the glazed pieces that I have with me. I think she forgot to put in, is there anything else left in here? No. Um, I think she forgot to put in the one where I did the actual, like, full thing for this. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's okay. I mean, I might just go back and ask if I really wanted it, but. So I have first this uh, cup, then I have, um, it's pretty much a bowl. I, I can use it. It's okay. It's not terrible. It's not great. And I have um, this one, which is kind of just very, like, random. And I guess some people like that style, because my teacher certainly did. And then um, I have this, which is, like, something that I would, you know, like, be proud of making. Which I am proud of making. So, out of all of the glazed ones, these two are my favorite. Um... So, those two. As far as the non-glazed ones, this one has to be my favorite. I wish I could have glazed it. Um, super duper cute. So, I'm going to put all these things back to the box. Those are all the wrappings. Um, actually, I'm going to put the wrappings in first and then put them into the box and then transfer them upstairs. Alright, so fast forward to 8.16 in the evening. Um, I did put them in my room, just in various locations, um, kind of randomized, but they're like, they're there for purpose. Um, I was thinking a lot about it, and I was thinking maybe I could do a room tour. I don't know if anyone's interested in those things anymore still, but like, I don't know, kind of show around my room, gives me some incentive to clean it up and stuff, so, um, yeah, if you like this video, um, don't leave a comment because that makes me paranoid, but um, you can leave a like, I guess. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.